Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Knights Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be talking about the huge announcements that Hot Toys uh, dropped last night. We have Padme and we have Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones. We've been waiting for these figures to be announced. Well, especially Padme. I mean, since 2019 she's been in the graveyard. So there was a point when we thought we would never see this figure hit the light of day, but... She's finally been announced. You can all rest easy. She is, she's coming. And I gotta say, I am really, really impressed with these figures that Hot Toys announced. There was some speculation that lately Hot Toys is getting lazy. And, you know, even by myself with Doc Brown and Batman Begins, you know, these head sculpts are being reused and they're just kind of coming across as lazy. But I gotta say, the head sculpts on these figures are damn near perfect I mean you see this right here and you just say that's Padme right there that looks great that looks just like Natalie Portman you know and there's some angles that these blogger photos have where it looks like I'm looking at photos of the the actress and the actor um, themselves it's just that good like when they have the the head tilted just right um, it looks spot on these figures are gonna look great in the shelf look at this image I love this pose here um, you know simple sexy just awesome awesome outfit the the body looks great the proportions look good you know she's got a little bit of um, um, you know doesn't look like a Barbie doll you know it's got some hips and whatnot it looks really authentic authentic to a human being I don't remember this this hood, I remember the scarf look, but I don't remember the hood in the movie. If you guys remember when that was, let me know. Maybe it was in a deleted scene, I'm not sure. But again, here, just how they have the head tilted down and kind of just to an angle with the eyes up. These do have movable eyes, so that helps the fingers out a lot, just brings them to life. But that is just an amazing look to this figure. You know, the hair looks good. It's going to be sculpted hair. The outfit is going to be this bright white, but then you have like this ivory color scarf that just kind of adds... You know, along with the belt, it just adds some some depth to this figure. It looks so awesome. You know, again, this is going to be a prototype, but you can just see like the pores and the 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 shine on the face, the skin texture, just so good. I, I hope it doesn't soften up too much by the time that we get this figure in hand. But again, it does have the ro the rolling eyeball function, so you you know that's a big deal. That I can't tell you how much that brings the figure to life. So. You're going to be able to get more looks. It's going to look more natural. You're going to do more with this figure. She comes with this blaster. And I, you know, I I keep thinking this would be awesome to pose next to, like, um, Empire Strikes Back Leia. Just because, you know, mother and daughter, and they both kind of have the same look with the white outfit and the hair kind of um, done up. But it looks so good. I, you know, I do worry over time that maybe, you know, the outfit you know yellows over time you know we've seen that with some figures again that could just be where you keep the figure or what environment but you know it could just be something with age too but i i gotta say i don't collect the prequels i, I just collect the original trilogy but i will say when i get to anakin here that's going to be tough because it's like a darth vader so i could see myself making an exception for that and then you know you give them padme as well and you kind of create their own scene together I still think they would look really good so even for me somebody that doesn't collect this line this is super tempting and there you have them side by side um, she looks great I can't really say anything negative about this figure um, just by looking at her uh, the boots look great the outfit is spot on the head sculpt is almost probably at 10 here's everything she comes with so it's the same typical base they've just tried to I guess you know include a little bit more accessories to it just to kind of change it up a little bit and I think that helps so um, at least it's not just the plain old base they tried to do something and you know while keeping the price point down so um, comes with a couple blasters as well a couple sets of hands and then that scarf so she's gonna retail on sideshow I think at uh, 270 if I'm correct so that's not a bad price for this either you're getting a super super cool figure a super cool um, character and a super good portrait and then we move on to Anakin Skywalker, which took me by surprise. I knew we were going to get this guy eventually, um, but I'm still a little bit surprised that we got him. I just wasn't expecting it. They are going to go with the anniversary pack for both of these figures. So you can see right here what the box is going to look like. He does come with his cloak as well. Something that really impresses me with this figure outside of this amazing head sculpt, which I think I actually like better than the dark side Anakin and the light side, 
from Revenge of the Sith. I think this head sculpt looks <clears throat> even better. He comes with his um, articulating um, robotic hand, um, which looks really well done. The paint applications look amazing. You know, the detail going into such a small piece is pretty fantastic. But the thing that I like most is that these lightsabers are going to be USB powered. This is a game changer because I myself am a collector that never puts the batteries in the lightsabers. They don't they don't even light up to the full blade like they dim out towards the end. So I'm hoping they fix that too and it's not just that it's USB powered but that it it's like a full balanced light all the way through the blade. I hope that they've changed that as well. We'll have to see how this is going to work. I'm sure you can do, you know, both with with the with it plugged in with it out. So um, you know, you might have to do some some cable management. Hopefully they came up with an idea that they can kind of run it through either the clothing or just, you know, the sleeve just so it's somehow um, kind of hidden a little bit. But here again, look at this. Look at this head sculpt. You have like the texture, the pores, the you got the 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 bangs kind of coming down on the forehead, you know, just a little bit of a of a realistic look there. You know, they thought it through. They have the braid, which is going to be, you know, sculpted rubber. Almost reminds me of like a, the Black Widow hair, but here he is with his full cloak. Uh, there's going to be a couple different looks that you can do with this guy as well. But I gotta say, I am super impressed. He comes with two lightsabers, you know, when he's taking on um, uh, Count Dooku. So, you know, again, with the eye rolling system, especially with this figure too, you know, he's, he sometimes has that menacing look. So you can, you can really portray that with this figure and... I, I, I don't know what to say about this head sculpt other than I'm super impressed like it uh, I don't know I I can't really find a negative about the figure like you know again maybe it'll come out softer and it won't look quite as good as the prototype but I, I think if you get you gotta get both of these figures if you're getting them and just put them side by side you know that's something I'm tempted to do we'll see what happens when they come out this guy is retailing for 269 so about a, a dollar cheaper than Padme but again I think that's a really fair price for the market that we're in right now and you know maybe the prices will come down a little bit with uh, the recession we're in maybe Hot Toys is kind of seeing the market crash a little bit so maybe they're gonna stop with this price increase with all of their figures and give us a little bit of a break that would really be nice but here you have the the eyeball rolling system which again just gives you so much more that you can do with the figure um, you know the tailoring on the outfit looks great the boots uh, our split cut boot design, which I don't think the other one was. I, I'm pretty sure these are split cut. I can kind of see it uh, looks like the split um, boot design there. But the first Anakin, the dark side, was not a split cut. So, you know, that should help with articulation as well. But the tailoring looks good. You know, the the, the robes look great. The, the belt looks really nice. It's just a well done figure. And I'm glad Hot Toys put the time and the effort into making sure that these figures would, would look right and... You know, they waited long enough with Padme, so, you know, you can't really be mad at the fact that they waited this long to get it 100% right, because, you know, you look at that and you see Anakin Skywalker, that is um, Hayden Christensen through and through. That is an amazing job, and, you know, especially in one six size, that's tough to get all those details in there, but, you know, I love this pose here, too. Again, dual lightsabers, USB powered, so you can light them up, but, you know, let's see... What they look like when they're in hand. I want to see how that looks because I don't want it to still look cheap. I want it to be evenly lit throughout the blade or throughout the, the yeah the blade, but then also just be you know bright and vibrant as well because we've seen them also kind of be washed out. So you know I think the jury's out on that. But again, you got the base where it's the typical rectangular base, but they're trying to add a little bit to it just to make it different. We also have a, a Count Dooku photo here. Now, is this just because it's Attack of the Clones, or are they thinking of reissuing him? I know his price has gone up, so keep an eye out for that. This guy could be coming again, or, you know, they could just be using him because it's the movie he's in, so I, I don't know. But I would be, you know, if, if you can still get top dollar for your Count Dooku, it might be a good idea to try to think about selling that. So um, keep that in mind. You know, let me know in the comments below if you're going to get these or if you're going to pass. I love this photo of Anakin. This is how I would pose him with that head tilt. This is like, this is Anakin right here is how I see him. I, a simple pose, but look how effective that is with the head tilt, kind of looking with the chin down a little bit. Oh, it looks great. I I don't know what to say, guys. I These are super figures. These could be figures of the year. And again, the price is not that bad. So you're looking at, 
you're looking at some really good figures here, especially if you're a Star Wars fan, which I am. But again, I'm just into the original trilogy, so this is going to be tough for me to pass on, but it's also going to be you know, something that i got to think about if it's what I want to do or not. But we're just going to finish up looking at you know the Anakin with everything it comes with. It comes with the... Uh, so a couple different hilts, and then, yeah, so two with the actual plug-in itself. Um, so again, you're probably going to have to wire that up and hide it best you can but you have the option to just do the regular hilts as well so that's nice they finally got rid of the lightsaber arm which is great because again that costs money to make too so you're probably gonna save some money there it comes with the robotic arm and um, the eyeball rolling system and then of course the base and the hands so let me know what you guys think of these figures I'd love to hear from you shoot me your thoughts in the comments below and until next time stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.